यूज केस नंबर ट्वेल्व टू नॉट अलाउ लीड डिलीशन इफ इट इज वर्किंग कॉन्टैक्टेड सो इफ इट इज अ वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस इफ एनी लीड इज करेंटली अ वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस डू नॉट लेट एनी वन डिलीट इट सो इफ आई टेक अ लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर लीड टेक अ लुक एट द स्टेटस हियर वॉट इज द स्टेटस लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द डिटेल्स टैब एंड सी द स्टेटस इज वर्किंग कॉन्टैक्टेड राइट सो इफ इट इज वर्किंग कॉन्टैक्टेड you should not let anyone delete it right now if i click the delete button it will delete for sure okay if i click on the delete button see this will get deleted right but we should not allow it to be deleted if the lead status is working contacted okay so let's attempt this now here what's our use case what object is it it's the lead object pretty much clear and you read deletion and you read do not allow what what comes in your mind based on what you have seen in the previous use cases we have to use the delete event Do you want to use before or after? Take a quick call, shout it out loud. Would it be before or after? What do you think? Yes, it would be before. Why? Because you don't want them to delete it. After it is deleted, you don't have to. You cannot write anything to save it, right? So, before delete event, and do not allow. What does that mean? That means you would have to use what method? Yes, the add error method that we discussed for insert and update scenario, right? Now it's on the delete scenario. So, will not allow lead to be deleted if the status is working contacted. okay let's go ahead and try to write that out so i'll say lead trigger i have one what event is it it should be the before insert event so i'll say before insert save i'll pick this line up copy paste it as always and i'll say it is before in before oh sorry it should be before delete right so it should be is before and is delete and this should be before delete here now let's say save and let's copy this method and paste it here and let's say handle activities before delete i'll go to the lead trigger handler before saving this file and i'll just copy paste this particular method method and i'll say handle activities before delete save let's save this particular guy right here and now let's go back here and save this all good let's go back to our trigger handler let's now not allow the user to delete it now i'll start with my for loop obviously i'll say for lead record in my new records if lead rec dot status is it state or status i think it's status if that is equal to working contacted now Let's open the lead uh, object and let's see what are the pick list values available. If I say edit object here, I just want to be sure that my I don't I'm not bringing a typo. I'll go to the object, I'll go to fields and relationships, take a look at status. This is the lead status, the API name is status. I'll say open. I'll take a look at the pick list values. Click here to open this page in classic. What are the values? This right here, working contacted. Okay, I'll just pick this value. go back to my dev console and just copy paste it to avoid any issues paste save it was same but save side okay now what is the issue it says new records does not exist it has to be lead records because that's the variable name that we defined here okay let's say save no errors now what i want to do if the lead status is working contacted i don't want them to delete it so i'll use the add error method simply i'll say you cannot delete a lead in progress okay and what do i need for this method to work i need the context variable of the type s object which variable is that that is the lead record variable that is in the current context looks good sounds good looks like it will work let's test it let's go to our lead and let's keep this working contacted as the status and let's try to delete it when i say delete and i said delete button it says there's a problem you might not have the permission to edit it or it might have been deleted or archived let's refresh it once okay let's go to details let's set the stage mark as current status okay and let's let's try to delete it now see it's not letting me delete it basically all right let's take a look at the developer console okay there's some issue it says attempt to dereference a null object what's the issue it says line 4 
attempt to dereference a null object. What is this line for? Let's quickly check it out. Lead records. For lead rec in lead records. Now, there's a problem with this code. The code is not working. If the code were working, the add error method would have worked and it would have shown you this error, right? The problem is with the before delete context. Can you guess what the problem is? The problem is with the before delete context, new records are not available. What did we send here? We sent the trigger dot new. The trigger dot new variable is not available before delete. Only the trigger dot old variable is available. And once we save that and try to do the same thing again, we might need to do this with a different lead. Let's go to this particular lead right here. Let's set it as working contacted. And let's say details. Let's say delete. So this is getting deleted. It's not working the way we wanted it to work. So what did we send? We sent trigger.old and handle activities before delete. Where is our method? It is right here. And we are checking if the lead record status is equal to working contacted. Add the error. You cannot delete a lead in progress. All our files are saved. Then why is, why is it not working? Let's put some debug logs. So I'll say system.debug found the lead okay this is the before delete event right let's quickly check we have put the before delete event here we have put is before is delete checks also here and we have sent the trigger dot old variable here and it's re being received here as lead records and we are trying to do this thing using the adder method let's go inside this loop and put a debug log yes it is in progress let's see if we get these logs okay now let's go back to Salesforce and let's check all open leads. Let's go to this particular Betty Bear lead. Details. This is currently working contacted. I'll say delete, delete. Okay. This deleted up fine. Let me check the log. If I click on the debug only option, it says found a lead, but it did not find this particular debug log, which means our status check is not working properly. Okay, let me quickly check what is the lead field value. This is working contacted, right? Not sure why is this not working? The value is correctly placed. Let's take a look at the lead. Let's take one more lead as an example. Let's go to details. Let's modify this working contacted because there's some issue with this lead. You see there are two, two values here. Let's choose this one with the space. I think this is the one that we want. If I say save, now let's go back to the developer console. Let's take a look at. Okay, I did not delete it, right? I have to delete it to check, get the logs. Let's get rid of all of this and let's delete the log. I mean, delete the record. Let's say delete. Deleted. Let's open this log and let's say debug only. So it says found a read, which means there's some issue with this particular check. Now status. Let me check what is the field name. It is status, right? The field name is status. Then why is it not working fine? Let's do one thing. Let's try to debug it and let's say system dot debug. Let's see what is the status value. Lead rec dot status. It's reaching this particular log right here, right? This one found a lead. So this should give me the status value here. If it is not going inside, let's see what is the value it's holding. Let's say save. Let's go back to the lead. Let's say David Monaco. Let's go to details. Let's say working contacted, save, and now let's delete it. So if I say delete, I should get a new log. Let's open this log debug only. And it says working hyphen contacted without the space. So that's the problem. So the value it's storing internally, I'm not sure what, what's the issue, but it's storing the value without the spaces. So let's use this API value in our lead trigger handler, and this should now work so i'll use this value save okay now let's go ahead and go to kathy details let's modify it to working contacted and let's now delete it and it's not letting you delete it now because the criteria is matching so there was some issue with the api name value thing but that's okay all right so it says you cannot delete a lead in progress and it is not letting you delete it now make sense did you see how I debug the issue? I saw the trigger first of all. Am I am I calling the event? Yes, I am. I saw if I put the correct checks. Yes, I did. I checked if the variable was correct. 
previously the variable was not correct so i understood okay trigger.new won't be available so i have to use the old variable that's when i use the activities before delete with old variable so i came here and then i saw okay i just have two things a simple for loop and i'm just using the adder method based on the if condition now what is not working it could be that the add error method does not work with delete or it could be that there was, might be an issue with the if so i put a log on this level i put a log on this level what i saw i got this log but i did not get this log so what i tried to do is i put what the value here the one that i'm trying to fetch or retrieve and it gave me the information that what i'm trying to compare it with was incorrect and i rectified my code and then the debug also should have come up and it showed me the error finally cool Great, that was use case number 12.